And what's up guys, Shadow Dragonic here, bringing you yet another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls. Now, I didn't manage to kill that freaking Black Knight like I wanted to, but... Anyway, we are moving forward. <clears throat> now, I completely forgot about this freaking ladder, which is where we needed to uh, climb up in order to get to the next area. I don't think there's anything... of value in these barrels or boxes, but it doesn't hurt to look. And this will bring us up here, and then... Right, we got these guys to deal with. There we go, we got a backstab on this guy. Nice. And we got a night shield. Now the night shield, is that gonna be... 68D. Ooh, it's heavy though, 5.5. Five. Surprisingly? The, besides the extra three f physical <laughs> defense, it's actually not as good as the hollow soldier shield. where I came from, so I want to go this way. And right out here is this guy. Oh, shit. Well, that was foolish. Try stabbing in the back. Imminent grief, okay. Before I do anything else, I gotta get to this freaking bonfire. This bonfire. And you can obviously hear the blacksmith. Kindle, <clears throat> which I think I will do. I will kindle. Cannot kindle while hollowed. Oh, right, you gotta kindle. Oh, shit. Now, ah, well, screw it. Alright, Mr. Blacksmith. Now, down here, we could fight a Titanite demon. There is a Titanite demon down here. There he is. He's a bitch with his electricity attacks. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of Astora. 
If you require smithing, then speak to me. All right. Can't reinforce because I need a dragon scale. <clears throat> Obviously. The scimitar. We could reinforce it twice, probably. The hollow soldier shield we can upgrade, which I think I might do, actually. Yes. Yes, we will do it again. All right. Now, what do you have for sale? You got Titanite Shards for 800 apiece. Now, that's something we do need. We need the Crest of uh, crest of Artorius. But it costs 20,000 souls, which is ridiculous. Tool reinforced weapons of Bonfire. I think that's all I need from him for now. Special right. Go get yourself killed. Right, so a little extra defense is always a good thing. We can't head that way yet. For the tower is not open. Blacksmith ahead. Need humanity. There's a big guy in here who we do need to take out. And there he is. He's not too bad because he's so freaking slow. And he won't respawn either. Any enemy that dies like that, with that, uh... Nice. Any enemy that dies like that with that weird, um, you know, soul dissipatingness, um, will not respawn. Now this is a Firekeeper soul. This is the first Firekeeper soul that we get. So we can reinforce our Estus Flask. And that guy up there is a pain in the ass. getting face shots on him apparently right so that takes care of that guy now we could potentially move on to the next boss if we really wanted to Oh, 
Oh, not good. No, 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 no backstabs. These guys are so annoying when they're in freaking pairs. They're not bad by themselves, but man, when you get them together, shoo, what a pain in the freaking ass. Something tells me there's another big guy out here. Maybe not. Maybe I was imagining things. A halberd, uh, that'll probably never get used. <clears throat> uh. Basement key. Now this will open up this gate and give us a shortcut. Or a shorter, a shorter cut, I guess. Now, I believe that basement key is used on the other side of the bridge where the dragon was. Uh, that door that I tried to go in that said uh, it could not be opened. Or no, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm wrong. In fact, I probably am wrong. This shortcut will actually take us all the way back to Firelink Shrine. There we go. We're all the way back at Firelink Shrine. And I think I'll... Yeah, I will give that uh, Firekeeper soul to the Firekeeper while we're here. response she cannot speak reinforce my estus flask please use firekeeper soul to reinforce estus flask yes estus flask reinforce to plus one thank you very much and i will rest here because we will get uh, 10 estus flask here I think I might level up a bit too. Now I'm trying to remember if it's endurance or strength that um, enables my speed, my equipment load and stuff. Right, it's endurance. Basically, the higher your equipment load, the faster you'll move. Depending on how heavy your armor is, obviously. I 
just went the totally wrong way. Now we can talk to that guy if we want to, but I'm not really worried about it. All he has are, um, miracles. Which is like a type of magic. Now that that guy, that summoner was a, a non-respawning enemy. Bodies. It's like a body tornado. Now we can, I believe we have the key. There's a cell up here. Soldier, okay. What do you have? A humanity. Oh, hello. Where'd you guys come from? Uh, excuse me. I believe there is a prison cell up here. Yes, indeed there is. Do we have the key? Oh, still human, are you? Then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Now this guy is an asshole. Thank you. Yes, sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I have just been freed. Allow me some time. Right, so we freed him. He is an asshole, like I said, but... Kinda has to be done, I guess. Large soul of a nameless soldier.
Now, we are getting to the uh, next boss area here, so... However... Oh... Do I... Yeah, I'm gonna need, um... Shit, I'm gonna have to go through all this again. Because what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to unhollow myself. And I think as well as unhollowing myself, I'm gonna kindle this spawn fire. So I was restored to human. Wow, I have seven humanity, huh? go so that way I, I will get 10 at this one anytime I rest here and now that I am human again there should be a summon sign for Solaire at this boss fight Okay, never mind. That was a failure on my part. I guess I shouldn't have freaking ran past those guys. I should have taken them out. Oh, hey, we got a backstab on that guy. Now, I'm trying to figure out why the why these fog gates are up. Oh, what'd you drop? Balder armor. Now. That boulder armor. Uh, 
pretty freaking heavy, actually. I wonder if somebody was trying to invade me and they couldn't connect. Wouldn't surprise me in the least bit. However, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Estus up. And there should be a summon sign for Solaire up here. Yes, indeed. We'll summon Phantom Knight Solaire. Praise the sun. All right, so basically what this guy's gonna do is he is going to distract. Distract the second gargoyle because there are two gargoyles. And there they are, they're up there. And one I need to try and chop the tail off of because uh, you get a weapon from it. That one right there. Chop off his tail and you get the gargoyle axe. There we go, we got it. That's the guy we gotta be wary of. Him with his freaking fire breath. This guy's almost, Goddamn. almost dead. saying that so is Solaire. Ouch. Oh, son of a bitch. Ugh, this is gonna take a while. The sooner we, like, the sooner we can take that one out, the other one doesn't come down for a little bit, so...
I'll just shoot you in the face then. That's right. You come get me. I ain't fighting you in those freaking close quarters. Alright, well, we already have the freaking axe, so we don't need it now, so we don't have to concentrate on just attacking his tail. That is a plus. Alright, let's go. Okay, that's one down, so now we can both uh, go after the other one. God damn. Look, well, he's at half health already. And he's gone. Alright. Thank you very much, Solaire. believe there's anything on either side here. I could be wrong. Ah, oh, somebody else beat the gargoyles. Every time somebody beats the gargoyles, uh, they ring the bell, and anybody in that same server will hear the bell ring, which is pretty cool. So this is the first of two bells that we need to ring. Some glitchiness going on in the tower.
All right, this guy. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem, the pot. Thou no appearest to lack faith. Yet magnanimous are the gods. Cometh out to confess? Or to accuse? For indeed all sins my domain. Uh, what do you have for sale? Purging stones. Book of the Guilty. Checklist of Indicted Players. Indictment. Report trespass of invader. Homeward bones are useful. Blood bite ring. Boost bleeding resistance and bring a sacrifice. That poison bite ring would be uh, pretty useful. Thou art welcome anytime. It is only human to commit a sin. <laughs> Indeed, it is. Alright, so now that we got that boss taken care of, that's what, three bosses now? If you really want to count the um, Asylum Demon as a boss. I would. He's a tutorial boss. So now we need to head to Blake Town. Now we could go, we could go back to, we could take the back way into Blight Town. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or we could take out that Titanite Demon and head through the forest. And we could take on a, I guess it's sort of a secretish boss. It's not really a secret boss, but I don't think it's actually required to take out the Moonlight Butterfly um, for the purpose of the main game. I could be wrong. But, uh... We can always give the Titanite Demon a try, though. However, it's going to have to wait until the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode or previous episodes, please give it a like. If you guys enjoyed my Let's Plays, please don't hesitate to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Slash Fail Dark Souls. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. But until then, guys, later.